Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're doing a how to build for uh, LR Escanor. Recently, or yesterday, I obtained LR Escanor. I did say I was going to wait to see all the, LR the AOT characters, uh, if there's, there's going to be any, L any LRs, and if they would take the uh, LR material. But then I realised, if you think about it logically, they're not really going to do it. If they are going to add LRs, it's going to be it's going to be their material, sort of like relics. So I'm not too fast. But let's get into it. So of course this is LR Escanor, and most people know. His outfit actually looks really nice, and it really fits the relic as well, which I love. His relic is actually really cool. For his substats, he does have the highest crit damage in the game, which is kind of absurd. He out he has higher crit damage than Demon King, who is the second highest, and Freya, who is the third highest, which is kind of insane. Remember, in Freya, he is a he's a, a crit damage based character because his crit chance is around 50, which is he's not critting anyone. Escanor, on the other hand, there's 280% crit damage and 130% crit chance with high pierce rate, high resistance, very good crit resistance and crit defense with very good lifesteal. This Escanor is probably, in my opinion, one of the better all-round characters in the game. I'm not going to say he rivals LR Melee, mainly because Melee can be used on any team, Escanor can be used with humans, but of course... It, of course, they have to have limitations on characters like this Escanor. If you could work with anyone, it would be a whole different story. But, on to his single target. So, his single target has something called uh, Blast, which is a brand new effect, uh, and with also Eternal Flame, is another brand new effect uh, that, of course, uh, is unique to uh, LR Escanor. But, it's the normal card that he has, but just same. Actually, I think they may have buffed the multiplier a little bit. That does seem a very odd. Yeah, they buffed the multiplier just slightly. Pretty sure that, that multiplier has been buffed by 50%. Which is pretty big, plus you get 2 ult gauge, plus you do 4% extra damage per blaze uh, blast on the enemy. I thought it was called blaze. Well, anyway, it's called Eternal Flame. But this is where Escanor starts to get kind of broken. So normally Ignites, uh, he doesn't remove buffs, and, uh, he only removes buffs at level 2, and he only does 1 Ignite at level 1. This one, he does 2 Ignites and removes buffs at level 1. Removes buffs and does three ignites and removes buffs and does four ignites. Four ignites is a lot. Even three is a lot. That's thirty percent damage taken that they take, and they do thirty percent less damage to you, which is absurd, especially for a character like Escanor, who's already got stupidly high defense-related stats. He's got a lot. He's of course gonna have a lot of stats just in general because, of course, he's an LR, and LRs are known for having absurdly high, you know, HP, attack, and defense, so on and so forth. But this card is gonna be insane. And then, of course, you do also have his ultimate, which ignores 100% crit, which is pretty much meaning it's going to crit. He has 130% crit, he has 130% crit chance, plus if you if I train his passive, which we'll get into in a sec, plus he ignores 30%, sorry, 100%, he's going to crit, no matter what. It doesn't matter who you're hitting, he's probably going to crit. I don't think, there, there might be some bosses where he may, may still struggle to crit. Uh, I was going to say, you know, Tear is a very good example of busted you can get him to over 700 percent crit chance with sever with the with the effect of sever of course you just divide it by three but he can get to around 700 percent crit chance with sever and I, I still think that Escanor, which would struggle to crit some of those bosses he's able to easily crit but i think that's just due to tier just being a crit chance demon uh so it's so, so not to be honest but Escanor's Delar, which is a lot more of a bigger thing of course, everyone should have Escanor 6-6. If you don't have him 6-6, you're probably either a new player or someone who just used to spend their dupes on super iconing people, which is something I am heavily against, unless that character is completely, like, unusable. We still don't know, I still do it for the GP points. Mainly for GP points on Boxy, so you mainly want to be doing this. On to his passive, which is what is completely broken now. So his original passive is this bottom bit here, which is... Uh, in addition, when the hero's armor gauge is filled, they lose all buffs and debuffs from self, and they become immune. That is the original Escanor passive. Now, this all of this new bit and this bit here are all new ones. Let's get on with it. So, it's at the, at the end of the turn, applies one eternal flame for three turns on enemies uh, that have not used this skill. During the enemy's turn, if an ally, including the secondary slot hero, are humans, applies one additional eternal flame on all enemies at the start of the ally's turn for three turns. The, the hero's attack related stats increase by 5% up to 30% for each flame applied to the enemies. In addition, of course, we've heard this bit, when he, when he gets max gauge, he loses buffs, debuffs, and becomes immune to uh, buffs and debuffs. 
but also what well, the effect of tile tunnel flame is 15% so you increase that the damage you deal by 15% it's like up four times so you do six so you can do 60% more damage so they got four ignites you're doing 100% then more damage you then got 160% crit chance 310% crit damage and an absurd amount of stats I'm just going to show you how okay first of all over the relic they're not sure how strong he really is and then of course his relic increase attack by the value of 50% of the hero's defense. So immediately turn one, my attack crit damn Escanor is gonna have 22,000 attack, which is kind of absurd. Bear in mind, he's not got a link or anything. If I give him a link, he is gonna be probably closer to like, 25. I'm just gonna use these single target skills until we get to max. I'm pretty sure on this bot, you can only get to four stacks or five stacks. I'm pretty sure they've actually capped it. Uh, so you, of course, I'll only be able to see like 25% attack uh, increase. That's gonna, which was capped at five ago. Find out here. Let's be the fifth. Yeah, it's capped. Cool. It's actually capped at four, so we're getting we're already at 20% attack relay stats. I can do this though. Which then give me a lot more debuffs. Now I'm gonna use this. That's gonna single target to get as much damage as I can. How much gonna do? Casual 1.5 million. Then I'm actually gonna use I'm gonna use the, the Escalon without Link and then Escalon all with Link and see how much damage we get. So 1.9 million. Oh and this is when this is when no humans no buffers. This is no buffing it. 1.9 to 2.1. Close to 2.2. His life steals absurd for a human as well, for a human as well. Like look at this. Does 1.5, 1.6, heals 300k. That's pretty good. But mind you, this, this is him with no support characters. If you were to give him a whole team of support characters, he's going to be absolutely terrifying. Well, he is currently terrifying, but he's going to be even more terrifying, especially if you have Roxy. I don't have Roxy, and for some reason they've just not brought her back or put her in the uh, the SR tickets, which in theory they should because they've done that with Rag. So I don't know why they haven't done that with the brand new Catastrophe characters. Then I have a story, but I'm just hoping. Well, what, uh, the main reason I made this LR Escanor is AOT, the Aaron that we saw in the trailer. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, a human that has the ability to, of course, change into a Titan, but they're not going to do the additional whole... Di they might just do an additional race thing. That's what they might do. I don't think they're going to do the whole oh, Green Aaron, wherever, wherever he is. is a lady somewhere. This I don't think they're going to do this whole Green Aaron thing where when he transforms, he changes to a giant race. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're just going to make it so he's a human with the additional race giant. Plus, you know, whatever passive they're going to give him. Because... Transformations are a very messy thing, especially uh, when it comes to you need to ult to transform. Uh, transformations we currently have, I'm going to include Philo, because in her cards, well in this card she transforms, in this card she doesn't, and in this card uh, she does once again. So she sort of has a transform aspect without a transform aspect. Well that's, I'm getting completely off topic, I need to go on to gear for us going now. Uh, so for gear, I've gone with attack crit down mainly because I have only really got an attack crit down, so I do have a HP defense set, but it is uh, it's very old and very bad, and I can't be else to improve it. So we're going to be keeping uh, attack crit down, basically. Plus, also he's already got a lot of HP as it is. 172k is pretty good. Uh, of course, he's going to get a lot more attack from his relic. Onto outfits wise. Because uh, Escanor's relic is uh, actually defense based, you also you also want to level up these. If, if you're if you're looking at the like, key things you want to buy, it's actually everything for Escanor because of course you want as much HP as possible, you want as much attack as much attack as possible, and of course you want as much defense as possible. So that means he's able to get even more out of his relic. Also, of course, if you're leveling up and buying uh, outfits and stuff, you do have to bear in mind that your bonuses will also count as well. So if you buy a weapon, uh, you will see. That's, 30% plus the 20%, so it's 50% increase. So you just, when you level up, it's 210, half it, 105, you're actually getting 315 from each weapon instead. Uh, same goes to everything else, just make sure you uh, you factor in your bonuses and then you can find out how much stats you'll actually be able to get out of it. Which is kind of nice. You probably can run Escanor at HP defense if you really want to tank. I don't recommend it. He's already got a decent CC. Of course, I can't be comparing him to LR Melee. Uh, of course, because LR Melly has a much better relic for CC. He's at a festival, you know, and all these other things. He's probably got, you know, better stats somewhere as well. Also, I'm pretty sure I've got 
more headgears for melee, and all, all my cosmetics are leveled up for melee. If I leveled up all my cosmetics for Escanor, maybe Escanor would rival him, but currently, with the collab coming, I don't think I currently have the ability to spare some resources for Escanor. But after the collab's done, I will definitely uh, be putting some more resources into this Escanor to make sure he is as good as possible, because of course he is an LR, he is the final le level of rarity, hopefully. Uh, so, of course, I'm going to invest pretty heavily in him. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.